from Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Mikey Show. Who is this Tom guy? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Mikey. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Mikey Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TIME. 1-800-5800-8. Six, six. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. <laughs> you knew we were going to talk about this. You knew it. You knew it. Oh, yeah. Uh, this column was written by somebody named Jocelyn Novak. She's a writer for the Associated Press. But there's a million stories about this on the web, on wire services and newspapers. I mean, it's everywhere. And uh, not to mention the fact that everybody's talking about this. And now we're going to talk about it. Here is the story from AP. The consensus is clear. Britney Spears performed like she was sloshing blindfolded through mud at MTV's Video Music Awards. By the way, if you have not seen this video, if you didn't see the VMAs, <laughs> uh, you can go to YouTube. Uh, of course, it probably shouldn't be posted on YouTube, but hey, it's not my problem. Uh, you can go to YouTube and actually see this performance. They pulled them all down. It's not on YouTube. They pulled them all down? MTV complained? Damn. Well, that, I'm sure somebody on the Internet has posted this somewhere. I'm sure it's out there. But um, I, I'm just going to say this. I remember I'm speaking carefully because there could be lawyers listening, and I'm going to be very careful. I really don't know whether or not Britney Spears was drinking or on drugs. I don't know. But my opinion, protected under the First Amendment to the United States Constitution, is that she was completely effed up. <laughs> I mean, she appeared, in my opinion. Attention, litigators. She appeared, in my opinion, to be leaning on the dancers like like she was going to fall down. Did you see that? I don't think that was choreography. In my opinion, she was holding herself up. She looked dazed and confused, in my opinion. You can't touch me, Brittany. You can't. Anyway, the uh, the opinion piece continues from AP. No one disputes that the troubled pop princess royally mangled her much-heralded comeback. But what about the nastiest comments of all? Those about her body. Monday's headline in the New York Post. Lard and clear. <laughs> e Online wrote, the bulging belly she was flaunting was so not hot. And so on. Was it fair? Did Spears, lest we forget a mother of two, deserve to be held up against the standard of her once fantastically toned abs, sculpted by sessions of a thousand tummy crunches? By the way, what man says the word tummy? Just curious. Or was she asking for it by choosing that unforgiving black sequin bikini? More profoundly, in an age where skinny models and skeletal actresses are under scrutiny for the message they're sending young girls, what does it say that we're excoriating a young woman for a little thickness in her middle? Oh, darling, I know a woman wrote this piece. Darling, uh, it's not so much the thickness in the middle as the fact that she wore this little tiny outfit with her gut hanging out. 
if you've got a gut, I'll bet you cover that thing up. We don't want to see it. Okay? It's that simple. If you got a gut, you go to the Forgotten Woman, you go to Liam Bright, you get something that fits. You wear that. Says here, certainly people were curious to see her. The show drew 7.1 million viewers Sunday, up 23% over last year's VMAs, and was the highest-rated cable program of the year among people aged 12 to 34, according to Nielsen Media Research. On the morning after what the VH1 channel called Spears' already historic performance, because VH1, their objective, they're owned by the same company that owns MTV. <laughs> what are they going to call it? The blogosphere was buzzing with opinions. For every fat comment, there was an impassioned retort. Give her a break, wrote one blogger on AboutThink.com. The girls had two kids. I hope I'm a size 10 after having kids. Jesus. Okay, she isn't fat, wrote another, but she isn't fit enough to be wearing or not wearing what she is. For many observers, the issue is not so much the body, but the body in that outfit. Janice Min, editor of the celebrity magazine Us Weekly, said, in that ensemble, you just can't have an ounce of anything extra. Many women would need for days if they were wearing that. Did she look better than 99% of women, added Min? Yes, but compared to her earlier form, she probably didn't look as good. Besides, said Min, quote, Britney Spears has always been about the whole package. It's never been 100% about the talent. Is it sexist? Probably. But she's built a career on an image of sexiness. Talk of Spears' physique comes amid an increasingly critical focus on overly skinny actresses in Hollywood who have largely replaced supermodels as the world's fashion plates. It's hard to pick up a celebrity magazine without a critical photo of, say, Angelina Jolie's bird-like arms. And curvy actresses are getting positive attention, it says here. I'm reading. From Oscar winner Jennifer Hudson of Dreamgirls. Nobody, but nobody is saying that she's a hot chick, by the way. She has a great voice. But like every woman from American Idol, she's another fatty. To Golden Globe winner America Ferreira. By the way, the woman doesn't know her name is Ferrara. She says Ferrara of TV's Ugly Betty. Now, America Ferrara really isn't huge. She's a little person. She's a little tiny thing that they make to look really horrific. You should see the Ugly Bettys in other countries, okay? They were really, really, really ugly. She's got kind of chunky arms. That's about it. It says here in the fashion industry, there's been an effort to promote healthier looking models. Girls aren't looking as skinny this season as they did, said Susie Yaloff Schwartz. There's a mouthful. Executive editor at large for Glamour magazine. There's food backstage. They're looking sexier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they need to eat like Jennifer Hudson. That's what they all, that's what all the models need to do. And we'll all, I'd like to see Glamour Magazine put, like, you know, Jennifer Hudson and uh, all the other fat chicks in there. Says here that uh, at Glamour, a model won't be featured, quote, if she shows too much clavicle. <laughs> Says here, and this is, again, is the opinion of the AP columnist here, the nastier headlines about Spears are uncalled for, Schwartz said, but at the same time, quote, when you walk around the stage in a black bikini in front of millions of viewers, people are going to notice. She added that, though Spears doesn't have the perfect body she once did, quote, most women would die for the body she has now. That's because women in this country are obese. They're morbidly obese. How how far have we sunk in America that women would like to look like Britney Spears with that beer gut? God, I'd love to look like that. Looking drunk and dazed and confused and with a beer gut. God, that's hot. Says here, an obvious question is whether a male performer would have been subjected to the same standards. 
Many would say no. Dave Zinchenko, editor of Men's Health Magazine, says yes. By the way, a man would not wear an outfit like that on television. Period. Unless there were a gay channel, and even then, I have doubts there'd be many guys who'd wear that. Gary, uh, they, they talk about whether men will be held to the same standard. Do you think that... Uh, you think men will wear an outfit like that on TV? <laughs> I mean, unless there's a gay network. I didn't see Kanye in one of those. No. no. I, I've seen him out in his backyard in one of those, but that's because he lives down the block. That's wrong. <laughs> I'm kidding, Kanye. I know he has lawyers, too. I'm kidding. By the way, we linked to a nice uh, picture of Brittany on the, on the website. Oh, very good. BlowMeUpTom.com. Get a look if you've not seen Brittany. If you've not seen what we're talking about, go look at the website. Very revealing. She's kind of bending forward, um, and you get to see a little bit of the rolls. It's just kind of, just kind of hangs. Is she getting to the fupa hangs. stage yet? Is she, uh... No, there's not really fupa. It's all above the no line. Fupa. It's all above the line. You know, it's going to be fupa very soon. Oh, no, it's going to, it's going to migrate down there. It's going to be super fupa. That's correct. <laughs> it's going to be. <laughs> By the way, Gary, did you see that FUPA website I forwarded you? The uh, website now they just they go FUPA hunting? Yes. We have yes, to post that on the website, too. That's true. That's, that's my next project. Yes. There's a website where there's guys with cameras who go out hunting for FUPA, and they take pictures of people with FUPA, and then they put them up on the website. It's called FUPA hunting. <laughs> you don't have to go too far. Tell you what, it's all over the place. Zinchenko says, any time you go on national television and dance in barely any clothing, you're going to be facing a lot of scrutiny. He says, anybody would be asking for it. Not that many people weren't pulling for Spears, he notes. If she had come back, she would have been the toast of the country. And certainly she had a lot to come back from over the past few years. Well-documented parenting mishaps. Remember the baby on her lap in the driver's seat? A messy divorce from husband Kevin Federline. The famous crotch photos. The bizarre head-shaving incident. Rehab. And now this. Then they went to the real expert. Shelly Wade, a DJ at New York City pop station Z100. Let's go to the experts. She said, I kind of feel bad for her. She looked really nervous. And then now I'm looking at all these blogs this morning about how everybody thinks she's fat. And I'm like, what? Fat? That wasn't fat. <laughs> I like to see what Shelly looks like. You've seen the average woman in radio. Or if you haven't seen them, trust me. All these uh, women in radio with names like Fox. It's always F-O-X-X, too. Fox and Wild, W-Y-L-D-E. I mean, you know. <clears throat> They're on radio for a reason. Okay? <laughs> Go to that uh, Z100 website. See what that Shelly Wade looks like, Gary. It's probably Z100.com or something. WHTZ in New York. Or actually, it's in uh, Newark, New Jersey. Uh, it says here, we'll get back to Shelly Wade as soon as Gary finds that. How will all this impact Spears' career and sales of her new album? It's yet to be seen. I just felt like that performance was make or break for her comeback, says Wade. Yeah, she's a fatty. She's a fatty. There you go. <laughs> of course she felt sorry. <laughs> By the way, have you ever seen a thin woman named Shelly? She looks like Monique. She looks like Monique. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Are you looking at that art? <laughs> Of course she feels bad for her. <laughs> She'd love to look like Britney Spears. Shelly probably hasn't weighed as little as Britney Spears since she was six years old. Oh, man. That's bad. It's Shelly Wade at Z100 in New York. There you go. Yes. She says now with last night's performance, she's just kind of put herself in the same boat. Everybody thinks she's a train wreck. That's true. A big, fat, fungly train wreck. But, says the story, the single of Gimme More, the song she destroyed on stage, is off to a great start in the top 40, says Sean Ross of Edison Research, which tracks radio play. As they pull all the mobsters, 
to find out uh, which uh, records are getting the most payola. <laughs> That's what those companies do, right? There's no payola on radio, is there? <laughs> Yes, Sean Ross says a great VMA performance would have probably closed the deal for her. But she's still got until Thanksgiving to do other good performances and to release a strong album with other hits on it. <laughs> oh, she also has till Thanksgiving to eat a few more Cinnabons, I guess. Says here, in any case, it would never be wise to write an obituary of Spears' career. Really? Is she one of the great singers of all time? Yes, Min. Who was Min? I forget. There was somebody named Min in this story. I, I hate when they bring back the name of a person from like, you know. Oh, Janice Min, the editor of US, of Us Weekly, of US Weekly, yes. Us Weekly. Said, um, with everything Britney, that such gay gossip column type talking, with everything Britney. We think that this is the last chance. The fact is, it never is. At least this puts attention back on her as a performer. My sense is she'd rather be judged on that than on the rehab, the drinking, and the party. She seemed to be pretty good at that stuff, by the way. Hell, you go to rehab that many times, you're going to get it right. You're going to get good at it. All right, uh, Britney Spears comes on stage with the beer gut, wearing that little tiny outfit. Is Are we being unfair to Britney Spears? Oh, do tell us. <laughs> Five eight hundred Tom. Really? One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. I want to have a threesome, and he says no. I told him I want to watch him have sex with another woman. He told me no. Maybe he'd like to watch you have sex with me. <laughs> Maybe. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Britney Spears. A hunk of chunka on the VMAs. Let's go. 1 800 5800 Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to John on the Tom Likas show. Hi, this is John from West Hollywood. Yes. Well, that was fascinating. Thank you, John. 1 800 5800 Tom. It's Melissa on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. How are you? Great. I'm good. I think Britney Spears looked absolutely ridiculous on the show. I can't believe they let her go on. I know. I honestly didn't know if she was going to cry because she looked so scared or passed out from supposedly looking like she's on drugs or completely drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know which one it was, but she looked petrified either way. So... And if, well, American to me, women, in my well, opinion, she looked drunk. I think so, too. I mean, she was stumbling in the first two steps of her performance. And then, I don't know, you just don't wear a little black bikini. She's, you know, not dancing around with a snake anymore. She can't do that. So no. get a tummy tuck. I don't know. Figure it out. <laughs> oh, my God. Or just <laughs> to put something over it. Exactly. I don't know. I don't know if she really thought she was going to make a comeback or... I just wanted to end her career there. I mean, we but... all know Brittany comes from a trailer trash background, but come on. Do you have to go out there with the big gut hanging out like everybody and... back home in the trailer park? Come on, Brittany. Yeah, and on top of that, her hair looked like a wig. <laughs> she was leaning on the dancers. I mean, it was. I honestly turned the channel about three times and went back to it. I was like, oh, it's still on. I couldn't even watch it. <laughs> I didn't feel sorry for her at all. People feel sorry for her. I mean, I don't. She made her own choices. That's so. right. <laughs> Boo-hoo-hoo. Yeah. She's a big fat she's a big fat drunk in our opinion. <laughs> Boo -hoo -hoo. Well, she definitely looked like it on Sunday, so yeah. she's, a, she's a big fat uh, what, drug user? What is she? You know, I don't even know. I'm thinking that She went to big fat rehab, I know that. I'm I'm guessing she's a pill popper and drinks lots of wine. Actually no beer. What am I thinking? Who yeah. <laughs> yeah, wine. Or white not, we don't, too classy. No no, white Zinfandel. <laughs> She yeah, there you go. Yeah, she's a white Zinfandel girl. That's what she likes. <laughs> yes. Well, maybe she drinks vodka of the gods over there at Trader Joe's. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you never know. All you people new to L.A. who can't afford an apartment, that's the vodka you have when you first come to town. The right? Trader Joe's. <laughs> yeah, the Trader Joe's vodka of the gods. With exactly. its With its sibling, tequila of the gods. <laughs> oh, gosh. 
That's maybe her drinking choice. <laughs> yes. You know which gods, by the way? The porcelain gods. <laughs> exactly. I'm sure that was her god after that show. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Can you. Tom, can you take me out with the bong toke? Of course. Thank Here you, you go. Yes. <coughs> it's 1-800-5800-TOM. We're talking about that hunk of chunk. Britney Spears. Let's say hello here to Clay on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Great. All right. Well, I don't really follow up with all that, you know, stuff about Britney Spears. I could really care less about her. But um, I was just um, looking on this website today where they had all these, like, little tabloids and stuff like that, you know. Like, uh, I don't know if you heard about the Vanessa uh, Hudgens thing about the yes. picture. Well, there's this website today uh, just check it out every day and i saw this video of this little fruity guy pouring his heart out and just crying and complaining and you know moaning and stuff about bringing spears and she's making people money and why we treat her like that and why we always go and talk stuff about her and i was like i was just laughing man i was like at work and it's only two of us in a small office, and I was just cracking the hell up. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, you get a chance, you, you know, get a hold of that video. It's on YouTube. By the also. way, Brittany's going on my Deadpool for 08. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I we, we, were, we were just watching this thing inside. I think it's a, you know, it's a, a farce. It's it's somebody pretending to be all incredibly upset about uh, all the heat that Brittany's taking. Oh, it is. It's yeah, it's all over YouTube. It, it got like a million hits today. Dean's watching it outside. Really? Yes. But it's not Perez Hilton or something. <laughs> no. He'll be back in at per- Perez Hilton in about five seconds. Yeah, I'm sure, so, sure. Right now he's looking at that. <laughs> you know, when I first started watching that, I really thought it was just somebody, you know, just being stupid. On you know, just wanted to get his little 15 minutes of fame. But um, I mean, after a while, you know, you start listening to all the stuff he has to say, and he's just crying and crying and crying. And plus, he looks like one of those kids that really do cry about some stuff like that. You know, one of those little emos or some, something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Why, but, uh, look, oh, there's Brittany then, with no panties again. <laughs> and uh, I'm thing, seeing it uh, now. There's, yeah, I mean, there's there's all this other stuff about, um, I mean, the first thing we heard was, um, of course, her and her divorce and her driving with the baby on, on her lap. And, she you know, then did it, went it on to, again. Yeah. Then I went to that upskirt of her getting out of the car. Yeah, that was the night up. of the VMAs on her way back to the Bellagio. She uh, get, I, getting I don't into the car. It. I don't Again, believe what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, come on, you know, you, you did it once. I mean, later on, she's going to just start doing but it. But here's the thing. Her. Nobody cares anymore. I mean, she's I flashing the beef, and nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares. Oh, uh, seems like you're I mean, it's getting to the point. point it's, it's, like, it's like the end of Madonna's career with everybody except uh, you know, old gay queens. Uh, was when she did that book called Sex, when she appeared naked in it. Enough already. Enough. I'm no prude, but you know what? You get to the point where, like, first of all, you get naked after we care. I mean, the time we want to see Britney naked is when she was dancing down that hallway in the high school with the, the, the little uh, uniform on. That's when you wanted to see her naked. We, we don't care anymore. Same thing with Madonna when she was turning into what we all thought was an old whore. And there she's in this book, you know, naked and everything. It's like, that's it. We're done. Right. This is where we're getting off the boat, okay? Yeah. Madonna wanted to get naked. She should have done it around 1982. But uh, she made us wait until it was like the past the time that we cared. I guess because, you know, there's really no new good singers out there, female singers. and so they... No, somebody tune in now. They might get the idea our show is misogynistic. I don't know why. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. It's Ed on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Ed. Tom, I'm glad you got to hear from me today. How are you? <laughs> well, great. I'm glad you got to talk to me because I'm sure it's a pleasure. Good, good. Oh, man, Blimpy Spears, Blimpy Spears. Blimpy Spears. I think this is just what she needed to balance her out from all the, pull her out of the hole of all this negative uh, press and media she's been getting. I mean, Or we could call her Slitney. Yeah, nothing like a nice, flawless performance controlled by total lack of coordination. You know what I mean? I mean, uh, I have HDTV, and uh, we got real close. You actually see a flask in her cleavage there. (laughs) 
And uh, I just want to give it up to her. I mean, she's, she's, she's doing a great job, Blimpy Spears, Blim, Blimpy Rears. But, I mean, gosh, I don't know. I was going to say, did you see the way she moved? But it's almost the way she didn't move. It looked like, my goodness. Well, we're just glad I that actually she... thought I saw a McDonald's French fry cup crumb on the corner of the I, th- when she did that I, th- I thought she was going to fall down, for God's sake. Five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Now let's say you were making the same amount of money you're making now when you were back twenty five years old. Oh, are you, you kidding me? I'd have had more poon. I'd have been. I'd, I'd have been banging four chicks a day. I'd be dead. The Tom Likey Show. From Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show. Britney Spears falling over, it looked like, in the PMAs. Look at all. Fat. And now there are people saying, oh, you shouldn't make fun. You shouldn't. <laughs> Tough. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Tom on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How's it going today? Great. Two things. Uh, first of all, I love the opening with the whole, it's Britney, bitch. And that whole thing at the beginning of her act, I don't know if you saw it or not. I did. And secondly, what happened to all the magic suits? She was supposed to do that with that dumbass Chris Angel. She was supposed to, like, disappear on stage and then oh, reappear. Do you, did happen? she look, again, this is my opinion for all you litigators out there. Did she look like she was capable of being coordinated enough to perform in a magic trick? Uh, well, no, but she didn't look coordinated enough to walk and chew gum at the same time either. Well, then, fortunately, I don't think she was chewing gum during her performance. <laughs> no, that it was a train wreck, but it was, it was fun to watch, so, you know, there we go. Oh, yes, absolutely. It got the range that MTV wanted, I guess. Well, we don't know what that part of the show got, but uh, we know the VMAs did well. Yeah. Well, you know, they had her there because I think that, and this is my opinion, I will say that too, you know, you, you have her up there, you know she's either going to do really, really well or really, really horrible. As I saw, you know, you know, people were guessing it's going to be one or the other. It's going to be really, really good or really, really bad, but not in between. And either way, the ratings are going to be huge. Now this year they didn't have Madonna deep kissing her. Oh, that was disgusting. I see that photo and I cringe. (laughs) Blow me up, Tom. Here you go, baby. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here's David on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, David. Hey, Tom. What's up? It's uh, David uh, from L.A. I just uh, had a comment about uh, the sexist thing. Yeah. You know how uh, you were saying it's uh, sexist that we're judging her? Yes. I think it's reverse sexism. She would have never been famous if she wasn't gorgeous in the first place. It's a problem with our society today that these no talent, decent looking girls. Say that word on the air, David. Oh, I'm sorry. Boobs and. Boobs and ass. Boobs and butt. Whatever. Well, whatever you like to say. But it's, it's a problem with our society. They we're, we're making them out to be something larger than life when they have no talent. No time at all. Well, because, uh, let's face it, uh, ever, especially since the advent of MTV in uh, the early 80s, uh, it's just as important that you have a good video or that you look good as that you know how to make a record. Well, of course, but, I mean, these girls are not talented at all. It's, it's, but they it's, don't it's, have it's, to be. The Look, the biggest fans of Britney Spears are 13 years old. What do they know? Nothing. Right. So... Mommy, mommy, right. mommy, mommy, buy me the CD, buy me the CD, mommy, mommy, mommy. That's 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 the core audience. Yes, well, these girls shouldn't complain then when uh, they bomb and they think it's sexist because they were only famous because of reverse sexism. Well, there you go. Stephanie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Um, I just kind of think that maybe she's just trying to get her career back on order, you know? Well, I mean, that's what she's trying to do, but she appeared to be drunk and fat. Yeah, she totally bombs. I totally give you that. But, I mean, she was trying to do something good for herself. Well, that's wonderful. But uh, you know what? Uh, she uh, What she did was uh, not I uh, well advised, I would say. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I just, I don't know. I, I just, 
I, I think she's got a lot of things going wrong, and she's just trying to get it. No, she. But the thing is, the, the things went wrong because she made them go wrong. Things did yeah. not happen to her. She made them happen. Yeah, so I don't feel sorry. Happened. Don't feel sorry for Britney Spears because she made her own bed, and now she's uh, stumbling to it. You're right. I got to give you that, Tom. <laughs> Why? Thank you. Very wide of you, Stephanie. Appreciate the call. <laughs> she never heard that phrase before. Nicole on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. How are you? Do you care? I do care. I'm doing great. <laughs> awesome. I was just calling. Um, first of all, I totally agree with what you had to say to the guy, I think it was David, that called before. And I totally disagree with the girl before me. Um, this girl basically, like David said, is a no-talent girl who's paid to look good, and she's paid to, and her whole career is based on looking good. This woman is worth billions of dollars. You can't hire a trainer to come to your house if she wanted her career to get back on track. She should be looking a one especially if she's prancing around in a black bikini. So I don't see how anyone could feel sorry for her when, first of all, she's got, you know, more money than God, and second of all, she can't even pull off looking good to get her career back on track or whatever. That's right. Exactly. So I just want to say that I totally agree with you and that anybody who feels sorry for Britney Spears is horribly mistaken. And, uh, and with, I love With you. a capital whore, Yes. Can you take me out with the bong rip? Of course I can, Nicole. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Gabe on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you? I'm doing okay, Gabe. Awesome. I just want to say, Tom, that I completely agree with you that in this case, Britney Spears had made a series of bad decisions, including having intercourse with a backup dancer and drinking, doing drugs, getting fat. She has taken all this course of action that has led her to her sorry state now. It is all of her fault. Right. We're not responsible for that. So why should we feel sorry for her? Yeah, why do you? I don't feel sorry for anyone who makes bad decisions. I don't believe in reinforcing people who make terrible decisions. If you make bad decisions, you have to be responsible for them. Maybe she needs a career in trailer trash. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? Kathy pencils down. Kathy? Yes, hi. Are you busy over there? Oh, I'm in my car on my cell phone. Sorry. So, so is everybody calling in, darling. So what? <laughs> well, I completely agree with some of the callers that said, I do not feel sorry for Brittany at all. I mean, she she is paid to look good. Her whole career is based on looking good. Why would you, what were her managers thinking to put her in that kind of outfit? They could have put something. She is chunky, but she's not that bad. It's yeah, she is that bad in that outfit. She is that bad. That's true, but an, another outfit could have been more flattering, and that outfit was horrible. It was too tight. She was bulging out in every direction, and she looked completely drunk. So it was just, I can't believe what were her managers thinking. I mean, everyone's talking about Brittany and her decisions, but what were her people thinking to let her go out like that? Well, uh, who knows? She may have uh, uh, vetoed uh, her handlers or may have overridden their decision or what? Who knows? That's true. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen to her next. I think her career's gone now after that. that everyone was rooting for her, hoping that she'd make a comeback. Oh, no. But... I, was, I was rooting for a train wreck. I got well, exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> I, I, I that was as good as it gets. I'll tell you what, that's better than the average accident on the freeway. That stuff's pretty good, but this was even better. 
Hey, Tom, I have a new one for you. Take By the way, I, today on Fountain Avenue, I saw somebody took a spill on a on a motorcycle, uh, and uh, they had the sand all over, but the, the, you could still see the blood and, like, the little pieces of flesh out there. It was pretty bad. Oh, my God. Well, Tom, take me out but with Br a But Brittany one. on the VMAs was even better. Take me out with a Brittany hit. A Brittany hit? Yes. <laughs> you mean a Brittany song? <laughs> no. <laughs> Make up a new hit, a Britney hit. Uh, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Oh. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Great. Long-time listener, first-time caller, Tom. Thank you. It started way back seventh grade. I wound up getting in trouble looking at your uh, website in one of my classes. Very great. nice. <laughs> Very it's nice. Great. Now you're getting no, more no, ass than fine. a toilet seat. Well, um, I'm calling to talk about the whole Britney Spears thing. I mean, I don't believe that we should put her name even on the radio at this point. I mean, she's made her own mess, and the only way she's doing this, she's getting more recognition. Well, you just call her BS. Fans. Huh? She's getting more recognition yes. from potential fans just doing this. Yeah, well, but yeah, who's going to go out and buy a CD based on her coming on and looking drunk and fat on the VMAs? Um, just like you said before, thirteen-year-olds. Even if they just saw that, they wouldn't care. They would have seen it. Was, they would have thought it was a great performance. It doesn't matter. The more we talk her up, the better her career is. I just, There's no she, way that we can shut her down. She's the biggest goddamn train wreck there is right now. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I have to agree with everybody. I mean, anytime. By the way, I will tell you this: anytime you tell me Britney Spears is going to be on someplace live, I'm watching. <laughs> Every, everything. I mean, I, you, I mean know what, I you know what? You know what? You know what I want I'm, next? I'm you know what I want Britney. next? I, I think she's already done it once before. I want Britney to host Saturday Night Live. That would be must see TV. You want to talk about must see TV? Oh God, that would be Britney great. hosting Saturday Night Live. That would be the absolute best. That would be. Are I have you to agree kidding with you me? There, I would be riveted. Sitting on the edge of our seats, right there. Because it's because it's done live. I mean, can you imagine if Britney hosted Saturday Night Live? How great is that? They'd that have would, to put her behind the desk. That would make Ashley Simpson's. That would make Ashley Simpson's. That would make Ashley Simpson's appearance on Saturday Night Live pale by comparison. They wouldn't be able to air it if she sat down for any That's right. of time. You exactly. would straight up her skirt. Right. And then, by the way, speaking <laughs> of which, what's she going to do, Leno? You don't come out there and sit on the sofa. Oh God! It'd be hey great, Jay, Tom. thanks for having me on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, anyway, um, hey, can you take me out with a bong rip and thank you, Jesus, and the original bomb? I can. Thank you, Jesus. Here comes Arthur on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Great. That's good. I just want to say, first time caller, long time listener as well. Thank you. You know, I, I think it's a big disgrace the way Britney Spears just acts these days. I think coming out on the stage like that, I mean, she should go back to rehab or, or even check herself into rehab so that she can come out doing a little bit better or something. <laughs> Britney in rehab. Unbelievable. Uh, How many times has she been in now? Two, three, at least two. Yeah, at least two. She can join Lindsay Lohan over there in uh, rehab. Maybe they can do some good together. Do something together. Jesus. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Steve on the Tom Likas Show. Real quick, Steve. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Great. Yeah, I'm a first-time caller. Great show. Always listening. Just wanted to say, how come no one has ever responded to her just lip-syncing during her performances? She was obviously drunk as can be, and she made an ass of herself trying to lip sync there, and she was completely off the entire time. <laughs> Good point. I'm glad you got that in. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.